Audacity can produce quite informative spectrograms of musical recordings, but it has to be configured properly. Uh, this video will show you how to do that. First, we open a musical file. Now this is a stereo file, but you can see that the two channels are identical. Um, so in this case, we'll convert to mono. That's generally a good practice anyway. Tracks. Stereo track to mono. Now we can draw down this bar, this line here, and uh, greatly enlarge the uh, area taken up by the waveform here. Um, we'll click on it to get rid of that background. Now to a uh, computer spectrogram, you click on the title bar, spectrogram. Now this is not a very good looking spectrogram. Um, we haven't yet configured Audacity for spectrograms of musical recordings. Uh, now I'll show how to do that. This is a Windows computer, so you click Edit and then Preferences. On a Mac, that would be Audacity Preferences. But this is a window computer, so Edit, Preferences. Now click Spectrograms, and we'll make some changes here. Uh, window size, 4096. Window type, Blackman. Maximum frequency, 3000, gain 20, range 60. Now you can modify these, uh, tweak them for uh, getting the best display uh, that you want on any particular file, but these uh, seem to work fairly well for a lot of musical recordings, so we'll go with these. Click OK. a much better spectrogram. Uh, lots more detail that we can see in here. We'll analyze this more in later uh, work. Um, now, if you uh, finish doing all of this, uh, Audacity will remember your preferences. You don't have to do them each time. So that's how we change preferences in Audacity.